I believe that there is a time and place for eminent domain. It's not for profit for private individuals. Senate Bill 201 passing a significant milestone in Pierre. However, it continues at this hour to draw criticism from concerned landowners all across the state. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. This measure has been touted as the Landowner Bill of Rights and will soon be on the governor's desk. I'm Cordell Wright. Andrea Anderson is off tonight. Governor Nome has already said she's looking forward to signing it. However, multiple landowners have stated the bill just supports corporate interests. I had the opportunity to sit down with two of them today and in State House 2024 coverage, we get to hear their concerns. Whether they want to build a pipeline or not, go for it, okay? But let's not erode our property rights to do it. John Schutte is a real estate agent who also farms on his land in Lincoln County. He has stood against the carbon pipeline projects as well as SB 201. As a real estate agent, I told everybody, we live in the best state, in the best nation in the world. And I'm starting to question that because our state legislators and our governor have been sold out to the highest dollar. Joy Hone shares John's concerns about the bill pointing to how it doesn't create restrictions on the use of eminent domain, which was their biggest issue with the pipeline projects from Navigator and Summit Carbon Solutions. This highly promoted landowner rights bill did not address our constitutional rights and it did not address eminent domain and we lost out to corporate interests. Both John and Joy were in peer advocating against this bill and described it as banging their heads against a wall. They do uh, tout this as the Landowner Bill of Rights, but they didn't really even want to hear from the landowners that were affected. And, you know, we left here disheartened and in disbelief, really, because we felt we won the arguments, um, but we lost the boat. The legislators that came up with this, this, the final bill that was passed, they were sold out. I don't know how, how the, the pipeline company got to them, but they've been sold the bill of goods. Aside from their concerns over the lack of eminent domain in the bill, there's also the issue of how it limits a county's ability to create their own setback rules and restrictions, which would impact the path of a pipeline. They can get a pathway through these counties that already have ordinances in place. It's just that they chose not to do that. They wanted to take the simple route and basically, uh, you know, go to the legislature and, and uh, take away our local control. I really thought when I moved to South Dakota, we had it right because it was run by the people and the people are local where we can make our decisions to run our counties, our townships the way we choose to. And now it's being ramrodded from here. Joy and John say the fight against eminent domain is not over yet, adding that the Public Utilities Commission has not approved a permit application from either company. Lastly, they encourage those with concerns to continue using their voice now and with the selection of their elected officials come November.